Hi, I'm Jim Byers and welcome to the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up. On this edition, we'll review some big races in Texas and New Mexico that featured a couple of wins for the progeny of Stallion Southern Corona. The Downs at Albuquerque carted a trio of restricted Grade 3 events over the weekend. On Sunday, it was the 400-yard New Mexico State Fair Breeders' Derby. Fastest qualifier, Old Fashioned Southern Girl, captured her first graded stakes win with a time of 20.002 seconds. With Porfirio Cano in the irons, Old Fashioned Southern Girl took home the top prize by a length and a quarter as the 7-5 favorite. Bred and owned by Rita Danley, the filly is by Southern Corona out of Cowgirl Cadillac. She's trained by Fred Danley. On Saturday in Albuquerque, fastest qualifier down with the quickness logged his first career stakes win in the New Mexico State Fair Senor Futurity. With Alonzo Rivera aboard, the two-year-old gelding drew off by a length and a quarter to win the 400-yard race in 19.628 seconds. Bred, owned, and trained by Terry Smith, down with the quickness is by Be Real Quick out of one desperate lady. Also on Saturday, it was the Phillies' turn in the New Mexico State Fair, Senorita Futurity at the Downs. In the third and final restricted grade three event of the weekend, Express In won by a length in 19.964 seconds for 400 yards. Under Cody Jensen, Express In broke well, then was bumped a couple hundred yards in, but rallied in the final stages to be much the best. She was bred by Leonard Block and is by Southern Corona out of Metered Express. She's owned by Cordova Racing LLC, and trained by Christopher Cordova. On Tuesday at Ajax Downs, second fastest qualifier Mitford set a track record in the 440-yard Alex Peikoff Memorial Championship in a tight finish over runner-up One Famous Glass. With Erica Smolowski in the saddle, the three-year-old gelding rallied from the outside to be up in the final stride in 21.52 seconds. Mitford was bred by Bobby Cox and is by Ivory James out of fitting celebration. He's owned by John Wilson and trained by Scott Reed. Indiana Downs wrapped up its Saturday card with the 400-yard Bradford Stakes for three-year-olds and up. In a race where four of the ten runners last competed in a different state, the Oklahoma invader Finch took over late under Oscar Delgado to win by a half length. The eight-year-old gelding went the distance in 19.64 seconds. He's by Trey Sace out of Dr. Prospector, bred by Chris Sheehy, who owns the veteran along with trainer Larry Abney. Dash for Cash Futurity Trials brought out more than 120 horses on Saturday at Lone Star Park, seeking a spot in the Grade 1 Final October 5th. Fastest of all was supplemental nominee Hero Don Juan in 19.57 seconds for 400 yards. Leading a quartet of qualifiers from that heat, Hero Don Juan is a gelding trained by Russell Harris and ridden by Larry Payne, Oddly enough, they also had the fastest qualifier to this race last year, Prince Valiant, only to see that youngster disqualified from a win in the final for drifting out. Hero Don Juan is by Valiant Hero out of Miss Shivers, bred and owned by Richard Scott. Three-year-olds faced the starter on Friday at Lone Star Park in trials for the 440-yard Grade 2 Dash for Cash Derby. In the second of those five trials, Louisiana Corona posted the fastest time of 21.278 seconds, while runner-up Secret Courage and show horse Panther Blur also gained spots in the October 5th final. Bred by Henry Brown, Louisiana Corona is by Jess Louisiana Blue out of the multiple champion, All-American winner, and multiple grade one winner, Corona Cash. Louisiana Corona is owned by Jason Richards and Michael LeBlanc, trained by Luis Villafranco, and was ridden by G.R. Carter. In the news this week, Heritage Place held its annual September yearling sale this past weekend. The three-day sale ended on Saturday with increases across the board, including a 12% increase in median, 7% rise in gross, and 2% bump in average. 85% of the horses offered were sold, including hip number 513, Race Through Fire, the $160,000 high seller. The Yearling Colt is by Walk Through Fire out of the terrific graded winner Miss Racy Vike and was purchased by Terry and Irene Stennett. California Horse Racing Board voted unanimously on Thursday to grant five weeks of thoroughbred racing to Los Alamitos in 2014 and 2015, which will feature a lucrative stake schedule. The five weeks will be split between a two-week summer meet and a three-week winter session. 
Howard H. Withers has been named general manager of racing at Fairgrounds Racecourse in New Orleans. Withers brings more than 40 years of racing industry experience to the position, including assistant general manager of Thistledown in Ohio and various roles with Amtote International. The American Pain Horse Association announced the inductees into its Hall of Fame. The 2013 class includes individuals Ray Graves, Walter Merrick, Ed Roberts, Verdon Royce, and Wanda Williams, and horses Colonel Smoking Gun, Dixie's Wardrum, Indian Music, Sky Bar, and Sky Top Bar. The induction ceremony will be February 23rd. Visit APHA.com for more information. Thanks for being with us. Stay tuned for a recap of a couple more stakes races from the past weekend. I'll see you next Monday on the Speed Horse Weekend Wrap-Up.